I'm Dennis Martin, President of Demartech. In today's video, we're going to look at a unified storage solution, one that provides storage to multiple clients using several different storage protocols. Modern data centers currently deploy multiple network technologies. These networks run at different speeds and carry different traffic types and protocols. The two most common network technologies used in data centers today are fiber channel and ethernet. These two separate networks exist because they each meet needs that the other does not. Each requires its own adapters, switches, and cables. As new racks are deployed in data centers or new data centers are built, you can use one network to provide the best of Ethernet and fiber channel. This supports all the protocols over a single cable, host adapter, and network switch. This simplifies the infrastructure by reducing the amount of equipment required while continuing to support today's protocols and applications. Ethernet has been used for many years to carry multiple types of storage traffic, including NFS, SIFS, and iSCSI. FCOE has been recently added to this list. 10 gigabit Ethernet with data center bridging, DCB, can manage traffic so that a single protocol won't overwhelm other protocols running on the same connection. This allows us to consolidate and upgrade separate connections running fiber channel, NFS, and iSCSI onto the same 10 gigabit Ethernet link. Unified storage solutions provide support for multiple protocols from the client through the network and to the storage system. NetApp commissioned Demarchek to evaluate its FAS 3240, one of its full line of unified storage solutions, for its ability to handle a full load of mixed traffic types simultaneously. To demonstrate its capacity to handle a fully mixed environment, we connected it to both our 10 gigabit Ethernet and our 8 gigabit fiber channel networks. We applied some heavy workloads to see how well the storage system could keep up with the line rates of both networks simultaneously. In these tests, we placed workloads from four different servers onto the same NetApp FAS 3240 storage system. We configured the server workloads to access only the cache of the FAS 3240 so that the test results would not be dependent on the number of disk drives. The workloads consisted of three Windows servers running Microsoft SQL I.O. over 8GIG Fiber Channel and 10GIG iSCSI and FCOE. A Linux server ran VDBench for the 10 gig NFS workload. These four workloads were delivered to the FAS 3240 by two connections, one 8 gig fiber channel and one 10 gigabit Ethernet shared by iSCSI, FCOE, and NFS. 10 gigabit Ethernet with DCB provides the ability to specify a bandwidth percentage for FCOE traffic. This is known as Enhanced Transmission Selection, or ETS. For the first set of tests, we accepted the default bandwidth setting of 50% for FCOE and 50% for all other Ethernet protocols. Line rate for 10 gigabit Ethernet is approximately 1150 megabytes per second. For 8 gig fiber channel, line rate is approximately 800 megabytes per second. As you can see by these results, the FAS 3240 was able to achieve more than 1100 megabytes per second for Ethernet. It achieved 770 megabytes per second for 8 gig fiber channel. For the second phase, we reran the test with the ETS bandwidth adjusted to 40% for FCOE and 60% for the remaining Ethernet protocols. Again, the FAS3240 achieved near line rate for Ethernet. From this data, we can conclude that the NetApp FAS3240 is indeed capable of supporting multiple storage protocols simultaneously, making it a truly unified storage solution. To get the full performance report, visit our website at www.demartech.com or search for NetApp Multi-Protocol Evaluation in your favorite internet search engine. While you're on our website, have a look at our other reports, evaluations, and deployment guides. We also invite you to sign up for our free monthly newsletter. I'm Dennis Martin, and thanks for watching.